To deploy software remotely, you need to specify target computers where the software should be deployed. In this demo, you can see how to select deployment targets manually. Let's get started. The simplest way to configure deployment targets is based on selecting target computers manually in the user interface. When running MCO Remote Installer for the first time, you can see that the network view is empty and your local computer is the only one displayed. It means that the application doesn't have the information about your network environment, and so you cannot select target computers manually. Please note, though, that the deployment option is enabled and you can deploy software to a dynamic group of computers. How to use dynamic groups will be demonstrated in the next video. In this demo, we will use the simplest approach of selecting targets. So, to enable manual target selection, we need to add computers to the network view. In the enumeration wizard, we can choose the method to be used to retrieve computers. The default option allows scanning a network and detecting available computers automatically. Also, we can enumerate available computers from a specified IP range or import a list of computers from a file. Let's use the default option and proceed to the next step. Here we can select the option to enumerate all computers in the network and, in this case, all available domains and workgroups will be enumerated. Let's choose another option and select domains and workgroups to be enumerated manually. Note that we can configure the filter conditions for the selected group. This feature is useful, for example, when you don't need to enumerate an entire domain but only want to enumerate some computers in the domain you manage. In the filter editor, we can enter the required condition, so only the computers that satisfy this condition will be enumerated. In our case, the application will enumerate computers that belong to an organizational unit with the entered name. When network enumeration is finished, the discovered network computers are displayed in the network view. As you can see, the computers are grouped by domains, work groups, and organizational units, so the network tree is identical to the network structure, and we can easily navigate through it. If you cannot find the required network computers, you should check the errors reported on the execution results and application log tab. In case of network scanning problems, you can find detailed information and troubleshooting instructions there. If you enumerated a domain, you can see all domain computers in the network tree regardless of their state during the enumeration, whereas if you choose to enumerate a work group, you can only see the computers that were turned on during the enumeration. This happens because the Windows networking infrastructure in a workgroup environment doesn't report the computers that have been turned off since about 30 minutes. You can update the network tree using two operations. The enumerate new operation keeps the network tree structure and just adds new computers. If you execute it for a domain, it adds computers that joined the domain. If you execute it for a workgroup, it adds newly discovered computers. For example, those that were turned off during the previous enumeration. To update the network tree and to synchronize it with the current status of your domains and workgroups, you can perform the enumerate operation and get the same result you would get after running the enumeration wizard. When you enumerate a network, MCO Remote Installer not only detects remote computers but also extracts software inventory information from every discovered computer. It's convenient because you don't need to run software audits manually, but it influences the enumeration performance. If you wish to improve the enumeration performance, you can turn off the software scanning feature in the Preferences dialog. Now that we have the network information in the application, we can select target computers in the network tree to initiate remote operations. Of course, we can select more than one computer and select organizational units work groups, or even an entire network as deployment targets, so the deployment will be performed on all computers that are displayed under the selected groups. Manual selection is the easiest and the fastest method of selecting target computers, but it has a few limitations. It can be used effectively only in small networks, because in large networks it's hard to browse through thousands of computers via the user interface to select the required computers manually. 
Also, you need to re-enumerate the network on a regular basis to keep the network tree up to date. Last but not least, manual selection can be used only in simple cases, and you cannot use it, for example, to deploy a software update only on the computers where the updating software is installed. In the next video, you'll see how to select targets dynamically to avoid all the limitations mentioned. Stay tuned!